Many of you have asked, what kind of books do I read to learn about vintage watches? The honest truth is my knowledge comes from over two decades of working on watches. Maybe a handful of what I know can be obtained in a book. That said, it does not mean it is useless to own a book about watches. Hi guys, and welcome back to a new episode with me, The Omega Enthusiast. In this episode, I will go through a few of my books and point out the pros and cons. The first book is called Complete Price Guide to Watches. This book is terrific, in my opinion, especially for someone new to vintage watches. Even though this book's primary purpose is to provide you with a price guide, it is also the least helpful information. How is this book practical for your journey in this watch hobby? The book's first half educates you about how a watch works, the name of movement and case parts, hallmarks, history, and a vast amount of information about vintage pocket watches. Moving on to the second half of this book will be about wristwatches. In today's easily accessible watch market through social media and internet access, the price of a watch varies from seller to seller. For example, I charge a watch according to my costs, parts, and labor to service the watch, warranty, condition, and so forth. The most significant part of this book is to help you learn the many brand names out there and learn about the case design. Uh, in that case, you can buy any edition of this book and it will be just as helpful. The second book I have here is called Classic Wrist Watches by Stefan Musa and Michael Horbeck. Once again, the price guide is the least relevant part of this book. Price guide was necessary back when social media didn't exist, and only a handful of vintage watch websites were available online. Nowadays, the same watch can get flipped from one person to the following several times throughout the month due to the convenience of social media and watch forums. So the watch may cost $100 at the beginning of the month and cost $1,000 by the end of the month. I may be a bit exaggerated, but you get my point. What I like about this book is that it is in full color. 
It provides a short historical introduction of the brand and many case model of each brand listed in the book. The technical detail of each watch are beneficial as well. It provides the year, the dimension, movement caliber and type, and a short remarks. Unfortunately, regardless of how comprehensive and informative the book is, I can still find many examples with incorrect crown, wrong hands, relume, and of course, several redials. These are things no book that I have discovered can teach me. But with hard work, perseverance, and dedication, I am sure everyone can become a genuine watch specialist. The third book that I have here is called Antique Collection by Toshio Masui. So I bought the first book off a local collector, the second book I purchased from Chapters Bookstore, and this I ordered from eBay. Similar to the previous book, this one provides colorful images of each significant watch. On top of that, there are additional images providing movement and even inside of the case back images. The technical details and short description are pretty interesting to read as well. As you can see, this book is in Japanese with English translation. It is imperative to learn everything about a watch, hence the movement images are eccentric. Making one of these videos takes up a lot of my time. If you cannot support my work financially via Patreon or the thanks button below, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit on that thumbs up like button below. It will help this channel a lot. Thank you. The fourth book is called Vintage Wristwatches by Rainy Haynes. Once again, the price is least relevant. I bought this book at Chapter as well. I would recommend the previous two over this book if wristwatches are what you are interested in, as they provide greater depth and information on each timepiece. The nice thing about this book is the many large images. Unfortunately, there are too many redial examples.
The last book is called Wristwatches by Jonathan Scatchett. This book is good to own and I would highly recommend it to everyone. The book will go through the history of wristwatches, compare watches, learn the type of watch styles, what to examine and what to look for when buying a watch, and a great depth into the history of vintage watches. I also purchased this book from Chapters. If you guys have reached to this point of the video, I would like to thank you for taking out some time out of your day to watch this video. There are many other great books about vintage watches out there, but I am only able to provide you with my thoughts on the five that I own. I hope everyone has an excellent rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you guys in the following video.